How do attorneys defend absolute pieces of human garbage? I'm asking this question because I just watched a documentary about a woman who had her husband murdered by her lover. It was planned for months and she never told him not do it. She confessed to the officer who was interrogating her and confessed to her mother a recorded line in jail. But her lawyer tried to defend her by saying she knew nothing about it and that she was lied to and coerced into giving a false confession. I don't understand how can someone morally justify defending a piece of shit with damning evidence and 100% proof that they did what they were accused of. It blows my mind. Like how are these lawyers able to sleep at night? Edit. For everyone reading this, I'm specifically talking about in cases on heinous crimes. Like murder, rape and pedophilia. And saying if we know they are guilty like they are on camera performing the act and we see them do it. How can someone defend them and refute that their client is innocent when we can 100% without a doubt know that it's them? Edit. How can prosecutors sleep at night knowing they put innocent people away also? My dad is a lawyer and he was a public defender when he got out of law school. If you ask him this question, his answer will usually be, it's easy representing the clients I know are guilty. Then all I gotta do is make sure the government holds up their end and does a good job. What's hard is representing someone I know is innocent while knowing it's very likely they'll be imprisoned anyway. Criminal defense attorney here. Seems like most people on this thread agree that everyone deserves representation. Without representation, there is no doubt that law enforcement and prosecutors would get away with incredible amounts of misconduct. Now, the question about what tactics to employ is entirely different. Some criminal defense attorneys make any argument they can like those described above in order to get a better deal for their client. Hey DA, do you really want to do this much work, or are you going to cut us a deal? I can honestly say that if my client was facing the death penalty, which I disagree with, I would probably make every argument I ethically could in hopes of avoiding the death penalty. Many serious felonies are effectively a death sentence. If a 55-year-old African-American male is sentenced to 25 years in prison, well, do the math. Do you deserve to die in prison for selling cocaine? Marijuana. Criminal defense is about mercy. I do what I do because I think most people do not deserve the harshest sentence under the law. People do commit heinous acts, but it is super rare for them to escape accountability.